wow what is going on with the 2k community what's going on everybody it's made the middle of the beast of all 16 here and today i want to talk about the youtube community but i don't want to talk about the regular people like us well Am I still a regular person? I still consider myself part of, you know, the regular people. Just because I have 2,000 subscribers, I don't mean shit. I'm still part of y'all. I want to talk about the big dogs, you know, the bigger YouTubers, the representatives of our community, if you're looking at it in terms of a government. Um, I want to talk about them because right now we have a lot of beef going on in the YouTube community. Right now, at this very moment, you have Lob Mob and you have Agent 00 going at it right now. And if you guys don't know who Lob Mob is, he is the guy that you get your bash tutorials from other than myself. I don't want to hear it. You guys don't watch this shit for nothing else other than bash tutorials. And you cannot convince me otherwise. And then Asian 00, uh, you probably watch him because you love it. You know, hearing his opinions on the 2K community. And he's very swift with the news, you know, what's going on with 2K and things that you might not be aware of. So, you know, each of them are very, very, you know, gifted in their respective craft. They're very good people, both of them, if you subscribe to them for whatever purpose. Now... What I want to talk about is the beef that's going on between them and not just between them but you know how this affects the community as a whole. So before I start, I'm going to summarize the beef between them in like 30 seconds or less. Basically Lot Mob made some comments and took some shots at Agent because he doesn't like the way that Agent expresses his criticisms on 2K and he feels that Agent's videos damage his relationship with the developers of 2K. That is, that is it in a nutshell. I'm not here to argue who's right and who's wrong. I'm going to let you guys form your own opinion. What I am here to tell you guys is this is a big deal in many ways. And I say this because they are both two very powerful individuals in our community. Representatives to which we the people can voice our opinions through. We can voice our complaints through. Agent has 130,000 subscribers and, you know, growing each day. And he's a very well-spoken individual, extremely intelligent. You can tell just by watching one video, he's not just ignorant. He's not just yelling to be angry. He has a point. He is a very good, you know, embodiment of what the community is. And same thing with Lot Mob. He's a very mature individual, very, you know, business, very formal, something that 2K will listen to because we're not yelling in their face. Because let's be honest, you can go to Twitter right now and see how terrible our community managers are. Ronnie 2K is useless. The worst community manager for any game I've ever seen. You guys don't like Ronnie. Be honest. You guys don't like him. You only follow him to complain or you want news. He's a terrible representative. He doesn't represent what the people want. He is just not essentially useless. He is. So that's what I'm saying, Law Mob. That's why I'm saying, Agent. You two are some of the embodiments of which our questions, our remarks, our complaints, criticisms, and concerns are heard and expressed through. We understand that there are other people like Chris Move or Gento, Fredo, um, Cash Nasty. We we get it. We understand there are people with larger subscriber bases, but they're not as active as you guys are. They're not ready to, you know, go into the politics like they once were. Because, you know, you know how easy this would be if Chris Move would just make one video talking about maybe five complaints he has for 2K17? If Chris Move has to make a video or a tweet complaining about 2K, you better believe that tweet will be heard, it will be addressed, and it will be fixed within that very next patch, if not that very day. Same thing with, you know, Fredo. You know, his voice is so large that if he makes a rant video, that shit will be on their Twitter. They will see it, and Ronnie's ugly, dirty Pakistan ass will be shit in the bed. I'm sorry, I just really hate Ronnie. So we understand that, you know, they could do something, but, you know, they're not. You know, they're doing what they want to do now. You know, they're doing what's best for their channel. Chris Move doing Let's Plays, uh, Cash Nasty, and uh, Fredo doing more vlogs now, you know, kind of straying away from the 2K scene, and that, that's okay. But you guys, you guys stuck by our side, and you guys are fighting for us every day, and we appreciate that. I mean, that's why I'm saying it makes no sense for you two to go against each other when you two want the same thing, and that's a better 2K game, because let's be honest, the game, it isn't fun. It's not. We've, we've played fun 2Ks. 2K11, a blast. 2K14, amazing. 15, amazing. 16, great. I mean, I, I personally love 13 because that's when my team was introduced. Amazing! 17. It's not fun. And if the game's not fun, in my opinion, it's not good. That's just the bottom line. And you guys want to fix that, don't you? Yes. Well, I think you guys do. 
And I understand you two have different styles of expressing, you know, our complacent criticisms and concerns. Asia has a very, you know, vocal, direct, in-your-face, expressive way of, you know, telling our problems that we have with 2K. And, you know, Law Mob is a very formal, business-like, you know, very polite and cordial, calm way of speaking. And I'm here to tell you two, or anybody watching this video, there's a time and a place for both. We can use both, because let's be honest, you know, 2K is not going to listen to us if we're always screaming and yelling at them. You know, I mean, if we're screaming and yelling over minuscule problems, they're just going to filter that shit out, and then our voices aren't going to get heard. I mean, what's the point of, you know, yelling our criticisms if they're just going to ignore them? They're not even going to consider them. I mean, you have to understand, and as well as I do understand, they're, they are people, and they are trying. This, you know, this shit ain't easy, you know. So I do thank the developers for trying every day. But at the same time, you know, sometimes they need that little, you know, kick in the ass. Sometimes we need to get in their face. If there's an issue, like the fucking, uh, like this right here on screen, this lag issue, or that shot meter glitch, that shit needs to be fixed yesterday. Okay, we need to get in their face and tell them to fix that shit because that shit is unacceptable. But you know what? It's all right. Okay, because you know, we're voicing our community. We're doing what we can and it will get better before it gets worse. So thank you guys for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you like this video. This is like if you didn't and let me know what you guys think. See ya. Peace out.